Welcome to an HPS Toolbox tutorial. Today we are going to use the Hammond Power Solutions online buck boost selector in our toolbox to learn how to quickly and easily select a transformer and wiring diagram for a buck boost transformer application. Buck boost transformers are used to lower or raise the voltage by about 5% to 25% for single and three phase loads. Buck boost transformers start out as single phase low voltage lighting isolation transformers in three different voltage combinations. Buck boost transformer selection has a tendency to cause anxiety for several reasons. Most people don't see the application often enough to become familiar with the product selection. The unit is wired as an auto transformer without isolation, which then means the nameplate is not accurate for either the wiring diagram voltages or KVA size, and everyone is taught to review and obey the nameplate. Finally, the electrician needs to know the wiring diagram that was used to size the unit, and I might add that they need to wire the unit exactly as the buck boost wiring diagram states it should be wired. These issues will not be a problem when we use the HPS buck boost selector. There are only four or five things you need to know to select a buck boost transformer. First, is it single or three phase? If it's three phase, you need to know if the circuit is delta or Y. Second, what voltage do you have? Third, what voltage do you want? Fourth, what is the KVA or amperage of the load? Using the buck boost selector, you don't even need to remember this. Just fill in the blanks. In this case, let's use the following criteria. First, I have a three phase load connected as a Y. Second, I have 452 volts. Third, I want 480 volts, and fourth, my load is 36 kVA. First, let's access the buck boost selector in the toolbox. We need to go to www.hammondpowersolutions.com. We need to make sure that we are in the North America section, and let's go to resources and select the HPS toolbox. Now that we are in the toolbox, we need to scroll down to the buck boost selector and visit the site. Now that I'm in the HPS Buck Boost Selector section, I just need to enter the information to quickly and easily select what I need. I wanted a three-phase unit that was wired in Y neutral. I had 452 volts, and I wanted 480 volts. In this case, I can't get exactly 480 volts. I can get either 475 or 497 volts. Since 475 is a lot closer, that's what I'm going to pick. And last, I need to enter my load. I wanted 36 kVA, and while I have one that is close at 34.28 kVA, it doesn't quite meet what I need, so I'm going to pick the 51.42 kVA. And from here, I just need to proceed to the results page. Now that I have the information, I can see that I need a Q1 C5 DTCF unit, and I need three of those. This gives a small wiring diagram, but this also tells me right here that I need to use wiring diagram 11. If I come down here though, and click on number 11, I get a much larger wiring diagram. Here is the really important final step. Whoever is going to wire this unit up needs to have this wiring diagram sent to them so they know how to wire up the three different units. If they don't have it, they will call you back or they will not be able to know how to install the unit. We hope you have found this tutorial useful and look forward to working with you on your next Buck Boost application.